scared. We are at the Invisible Dog Art Center in Brooklyn, where at the moment we have the show Anima. Anima is a reflection on the divide between man and animal and the notion of soul. And it's an exhibition that uh, I created uh, following a brainstorm in the jungle with an anthropologist, Valentin Losso. In Obregon, is a Mayan character, very important in the community we, we went uh, in. He has been exhibited in a human zoo uh, at the Paris uh, Universal Fair in 1937. He was exhibited like an animal, along with other animals, but also along with other Maya people. Uh, and this experience he told me about was very important for him, obviously. We are at the entrance of an exhibit called Anima, which is the work of an artist named Prune Nouri. For Anima, Prune went to the tropical forest and uh, studied Mayan culture. She worked with a, a group of collaborators to recreate not just a work of art that represents a forest, but the impression of a forest, the emotions that accompanies the journey. First you go through the tunnel and you lose a bit uh, yourself, you don't know where you are anymore and you see through the, the wood, the head appearing uh, little by little and you arrive on, on that pond where you have the soul flying above the pond and the reflection of the head uh, which is inspired by your Olmec head and also by uh, the portrait of that man, Kino Bregon. And then you go behind uh, that big sculpture and you can look through the eyes where you see a hologram dancing and flying. The big head there. And did you see that, that the big head is mirrored in the water? Do you see? It's half a head and when you look in the water, you can see the full head. Except and did you see the l dancing light? I think it's a ghost. But it dances in the air? How does it dance in the air? In animism, uh, you can find sometimes this phenomena which is called uh, animal metamorphosis. So basically, among the Maya, every night, the people turn themselves into animals. We went to the jungle of uh, Chiapas in Mexico. So we got many interviews. We were interested to get as many interviews as possible of um, Mayan Lacondon who would uh, turn into animals. <laughs> for the project, along with the exhibition, we created a book which we have brainstormed uh, along with the magician and the anthropologist in the jungle last January. We wrote different uh, games for children uh, where you really can get into this idea of metamorphosis, um, hybrid between human and animal, uh, also the notion of soul which makes the difference between naturalism and animism. It's a way also to explain animism to, to children. Girls, do you know what this book is about? No, no. It's about Kin Obregon. Here there's water, and here there are trees. That are the same one. Yeah, they're the same trees. And here? This page tells you about the life in the forest. And you know what you do in the forest? You no. find animals. You look for animals. You look for animals what for? Maybe maybe to eat? But some of these animals like, could be in the zoo. Like Monkeys could be in the zoo, but they had to be in a cage. Yeah, but in the forest, they're not in the zoo and they're not in the cage. They're in the wild. Yeah, all by themselves. But when one 
except if when if the bird meets the monkey, then they could be friends. Yeah, they can be friends. And you know what? In Mayan culture, people, they think they're connected to animals. So you can be a human, you can be a big girl in the day, and at night you can be a bird, or you can be a monkey. Or you could be a cheetah. Or you could be a cheetah.